Well, it's not the end of the week, it's the middle of the week, but we have to look at tanks, man. We've neglected tanks for so long and we're talking about plus 20 keys and stuff. And, and it actually tanks. fits because it's tier list Tuesday, TLT, T -L -T tanks, T, -T, T, -T. It's it all works. about the T's. It's everywhere, man. We're looking at tanks from Mythic Plus up until this point. Yep. And we have a lot of data to look at. And just like, just from the get-go, don't expect any bad tiers here. All the tanks are doing amazing yeah, so pretty far. Much. We're looking at really high keys, man. It's like... They're doing uh, 20s and 21s, I think. That's how high people have gotten. I mean, get 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 with the program. In the first week. Plus, a lot of these tanks do ridiculous amounts of damage. But that's not important. The most important thing is we're still at the beginning stages of the season. Things will probably change in a couple of weeks from now. You know, we're going to have Tyrannical and stuff. Yep. And But in terms of like how these tanks are performing and looking at the damage profile and the damage intake, the damage prevention and all of that and how all of these tanks are doing in the keys, it's a pretty interesting sight to see because... I don't know, they, they kind of nailed it for a couple of expansions now in terms of like the tank's performance. So let's start it off with the Blood Dead blood Knight. Decay, blood I mean, decay. Blood Dead Knight is, uh, was to be expected to do really good. We had some con conundrums with the spec early on in the alpha and the beta. It was that degenerate gameplay. Yeah, that it you changed had. a little bit. They've, they've addressed mm. some uh, some weird things coming from uh, Shadowlands going into uh, into Dragonflight. And yes. Bloody K doing really well at the beginning of the expansion is something really cool to see. I think it's one of the more complete tanks. It has pretty much everything that you need to do. So long as you don't get one shot, you can pretty much survive everything. And we've seen those blood decay HPS meters, which you're thinking, hey, yeah, they're going to They heal high, a lot, man. man. It's Listen, an old fact. They heal. They, they don't just... They're not just high. They're like turbo high, which is like pretty competing good. with healers, man. You yeah, can see like the HPS from Bloody Keys and Mythic. You can it's see this way higher. Like healers. when the tank takes more... I cannot keep up. Like... <laughs> Because it, it's it's blood decay, so I, I, as a healer, I know exactly how it is to heal blood decay. It is horrible because I never know. You think I would know, but then they no, just no, it's explode. always a surprise. It's you really, see a blood really decay good. go into like five percent HP, then drop, dead strike. Okay, we're back on track, people. Let's go. And they do they do decent damage yeah, now. Damage, it's not yeah. outstanding. However, their defensive and utility kit is like way above what we had in Shadowlands, since you now have access to pretty much everything. Yeah. The, uh, the the limb, the AMZ, the all of that you want, the Gorfing Grasp, you can pretty much have all of it in one tank and not have to sacrifice something that you would probably have to sacrifice in terms of covenants back in Shadowlands. So it's true. really, really popular. Let's place, let's place the bad boy. It's an S tier. Yeah, it's an S tier. Yeah. I mean, we did warn you. Fits. You're not going to see low tiers here. All these tanks are doing really good. I think the highest key, a Blood Decay, that it was a 21. So uh, it, it goes to show that on top of everything that it brings to the pack. Next on the list, Brew Master Monks. Brew Master Monks. I do believe, my friend, a lot of people um, uh, were saying very, that. Um, very skeptical. Yeah, very I... skeptical, but because uh, uh, what was it? There was the thing about the survivability, squishy. Yeah, that uh, was. That was. I, the kept, I kept hearing that all over the place. Brew Master is gonna be so squishy. They they did ridiculous tons of damage. Uh, when, they they still testing. do. I think uh, Brew Master is still the tank with the most amount of damage, and that's probably what's keeping it so high. Have you seen a Prot <laughs> Warrior lately? <laughs> Dude, Prot Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> Prowers have been nerfed consistently, and yet still they're decently good. And even with the tankiness nerfs, I am not sure, uh, like, people are still doing really high keys. I'm not sure how we will feel after the reset, once those nerfs are properly in place into everybody's performance. However, as of right now, considering that the amount of damage that Brewmaster does, coupled with the mobility and everything else that a monk just does. Mystic Touch on the it's, pack as well. It, yeah. it, it, it's, all, it's all that. I mean, one of the most mobile, one of the most useful, the damage, ridiculous. Uh, we can still look as bloody key, uh, as with bloody keys. We're still looking at really high keys, like yeah. uh, 19s to 21s. So this is yet another S tier. Ha! It's a little <laughs> bit lower than, than bloody key, but I guess if you're not gonna have a, um, a windwalker for some reason, you're, you're probably your next goal is to uh, get a brewmaster. Yeah, yeah, big big S keys. Uh, it, it's it's like bang, bang, bang. All, all of them. Let's go to the next one, which is the guardian. Druid. Bro. Now, uh, Guardian Druid is expecting a couple of changes with the 0.5 patch. Yeah, we know that. Actually. That 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 stuff is not yet in the game. We talked about Guardian Druid in the past. It was like really, really good. Uh, the damage was there. The survivability was there. And the, the toolkit basically kind of changed during the testing alpha and beta all the way to life. Really, really good. I just feel like um, although this is not a bad spec by any means, uh, especially when we're talking about high keys, I haven't seen much, if any, 20. Well, keys. Uh, yeah, Bear is kind of like itching into the 20s. Uh, as we're doing and recording this video, it depends on when you see this, it might be a little bit more. And obviously, after the reset, when it's going to get a little bit more oomph, 
it's oh, yeah. probably gonna be even higher and even so considering that it's doing 20s i think we're, i mean we're seeing it i think it's performing pretty well for a respect that can do 20s. oh yeah for sure man and this is again all these tanks you're gonna see at the end of the tail is all the tanks are doing high keys and performing really great and, in their own and capacity and is probably like the second in terms of damage i don't know exactly where prop paladin is because i've looked at brew and bear but bear seems to be like massive it's and, and some of those keys it might out dps even a fire mate right? yeah i've seen i've seen some of those locks man it's ridiculous so uh a bear is a tier and this this doesn't say like it's bad or anything there's just some I of mean, these other specs -tier, it's a tier right it's, it's, it does it doesn't push as high as the other ones but it could yes uh, yes it, it, and um, it probably will we'll just have to see the other affixes you know yeah. tyrannical especially we'll see how these these rankings change up next up prot the first shield boy uh, and uh this is something that obviously we're we're kind of like biased when it comes to paladin uh yeah. prod and red specifically and we even we, love had, we even had a podcast with with prop paladin and although it like functionally it performs really well our biases aside that that's not important what matters is the actual performance and it seems to be decently good i mean we're no strangers to prop paladin dealing a lot of damage and you do have access to a pretty good kit in terms of defensiveness with all the new additions to Sentinel, if anybody's using Sentinel, that's going to be really good. Oh, yeah. And you have access to a lot of utility through the class talent tree and, and potential. the protector back yeah. to being only a prot paladin thing. I mean, uh, prot paladin as a tank has, has still access to like most of the tools you would need to address any type of situation. Now we're talking about high and mythic plus and stuff. Obviously, you're talking about being able to pull a lot of stuff, maintain that aggro and survive while also doing a lot of damage. Prod Paladins also bring is, bring this like extra heal either for them or their party. That's all fine and dandy. Really Plus, good. you have like really great things. You can save your killer with a bop. You can play sacrifice on somebody, you know, cleanse a lot of poisons and stuff. So it's not like a blood decay level yet, but I think it takes the front of the A tier for sure. Like yeah, in yeah. all Th departments. This was, this was a little bit harder to get because it's kind of like itching towards S tier. But I felt like it, it will probably not be able to keep up in this iteration. It will not, probably not be able to keep up with the likes of Brewmaster so far. However, I think the rank one Paladin is like the top. It's in the top 10 best tanks in the world. But that's like oh, yeah. only like one specific people. Like you'll find exceptional people playing exceptional specs doing above 90%. Like you'll find one prop Paladin above all the Brewmasters in the world. But then the second prop Paladin is a little bit lower on the list. Much so lower. Yeah. we kind of had to like uh, generalize a little yeah, bit. And taking all this data, because we were like looking at all of the logs from Warcraft logs. Then we're looking at, you know, the sub creation scores on, on everybody. Highest keys made over there. You know, on, on the no, Raider.io, uh, sub creation, you know, rankings sub, sub as well. Sub creation is a little bit too biased because it puts like one spec <laughs> into A tier and all yeah, the rest and everybody into F. Into F yeah. So like, all right, come on. That's, that's Yeah, we're trying to make like a, 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 a fusion out of all of the data available on all these websites and try to like make the rankings based on that but even so it's very very close all these tanks are very very close <clears throat> let's talk about protection warrior well which, uh, uh, no surprise i mean it's doing well all where whatever you look on any type of like gameplay pv wise you're gonna see a prop warrior doing good obviously if that it's, player it's really good i think prop warrior is maybe one of the more rounded about tanks it does have a lot of damage i don't think it does as much as brew or even bear but it can actually do a lot of damage. The, I think what probably pushed Pro Warrior at least this week, we'll see after the reset, is the amount of tankiness that it had. Because remember the time when I said that, man, if you're just like an immortal yep. piece of immovable object, well, that's basically <laughs> Pro Warrior. I mean, you know the Asmongold clip. That was pretty funny. But it is <laughs> but dude, actually... I've seen, I've seen the Meritor, uh, the, you know, linking a couple of screenshots with his keys. He was doing like 100-something DPS, man. Uh, it's just dude, crazy. You can, can have some burst. Yeah, you can. So the thing is, yeah, Tanks now are expected to deal a lot of damage in high mythic plus keys. It's a known fact. Uh, they, they need to do that in, in most of the capacity to also maintain aggro, especially when you have like other DPS picks that can rival that aggro. Yeah. Uh, we had problems in the past with specific burst specs that were constantly gaining aggro from the tanks. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. I just know the tank mains are really having fun dealing this amount oh, yeah. of damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think it's, it's for the better, but uh, top, Protection top. Warrior is Best. like the the best yeah it's like top of the s tier right now which doesn't go to say the other specs are bad but just in comparison i think prot warrior does like the highest amounts like the, the most 21s i've seen so this is like yeah i think, I think, I think like it's the, 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 there's like 20 21s then you have bloody keys who had i don't know 17 or something so that's like the, the I main think prot, prot is like the only spec that has done all 20 like the top pro where it's not all of them of, of course have done all of their 20s yeah. and now they're pushing 21s and 22s all right all right but what about 
Vengeance Demon Hunter, Vengeance? yet another powerhouse, man. Yeah, and like, it, it kind of did know, a 180 from Shadowlands in terms of like how, kind of how it plays and kind of how it feels. It's definitely feels way like more tanky right now. Tank, man. Yeah, on. and uh, I mean, we're talking about dungeons and we haven't gotten into the tyrannical side of things, but we are seeing like vengeance in the race world first. So it's likely that they're going to be good in tyrannical as well. I believe it. And right now, I mean, they're doing decent amount. Of, I think it's also in, in the similar way as probably like kind of a complete tank, but it's probably just tuned down in terms of numbers all yeah. around. I mean, looking at the data for, for them, especially when you look at like the high skis being made by the, these uh, uh, Vengeance players. Uh, you've seen uh, a couple of 20s. You, I, I haven't seen up until recording this video any 21s, um, but they're still high up there. So all these tanks are, are ranging from 17s to 21s and everything in between, right? So um, it, it, we cannot talk about a B, C or D tier uh, at this moment in time. Like again, we're still waiting for Tyrannical. Again, yeah. we cannot talk about like a complete image because uh, still most of these players do not have like like their complete tier set. Uh, some of them had got got their best they, items. They, they had a couple of two pieces there, and uh, I mean, yeah, two I don't piece know. I can see. Yeah, two piece I can see. <clears> but so, uh, vengeance, uh, we can place yeah. it in the A tier as well. Uh, again, like looking at vengeance and uh, guardian and prot paladin, uh, it's kind of very small differentiators between them. But I guess this can this can be like an image, like the overall image right now for mythic plus for tanks is like all the tanks can do very well. All, all of them are doing 20 so i mean yeah. what else can you want this is this is this is amazing if you're playing a, a a tank and regardless of the spec you're gonna do pretty good it will be interesting to see once we get into the tyrannical stuff and we get more and more gear for all of the specs if you can see some drop drop off at least in popularity in terms of like what they do uh, all these tanks can handle big packs red and yeah, damage this, no this problem. Is pretty cool because it's like pre mdi so people don't really have that awareness and that publicity yeah. to our specific tanks so it's nice to see that when you're not like heavy influenced by uh, very competitive scenes that, you know, skew the performance of the specs, how even across the board the, the specs no. are. Again, Blizzard did a pretty good job on uh, balancing pretty all these tank specs and we'll, we'll just have to see how much uh, <coughs> the gear and the, the affixes will differentiate yeah. them. And also, nothing to differentiate our Patreons because we love them all the same. Thank you Patreons for supporting the content on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, monthly basis. Thank you. It's not required, but it does mean a whole bunch it, it, it makes helps us a lot yeah it enables this content and a lot more that we do for the channel so thank you guys if you're interested check the link in the description uh, there's like a lot of information there again it's not required but it helps us a ton thank you for watching the video Blame. thank you and we will see you in the next one we're gonna have more tier lists so stay tuned to more selling online yes bye See you in Shadowlands. I've been loving it then, I still love it now. Still, I play wild. Still, I play wild. Getting better every day, let me show you how. Cause still, I play wild. Still, I play wild. It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day, it's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play. Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow. Still, I play wild.